Hi guys and welcome back to Relax My Cat. My name is Savannah and here with me as usual is Maya. And today's video is actually a bit all about Maya. It's all about coat care and because you can see Maya is a very glossy cat. Um, especially for a 14 year old, she has a really lovely coat and I kind of want to go over how we achieve that together. <laughs> um, so this video is coat care tips for your cat. Okay, so the first factor when it comes to your coat, your cat's coat, um, is their age. Um, age and weight are things that can affect how they can clean themselves. Cats are really clean by themselves anyway, they don't really need us stepping in. But if your cat is quite old and their mobility is not the best, you might need to help out a little bit. Um, it's the same if your cat is a little bit overweight. Maya used to be quite overweight, um, so she just really struggled cleaning herself. Um, we'd have to kind of wipe her down with a slightly damp cloth and brush through in the areas that she couldn't reach, so like her stomach and like around like her tail area. <laughs> the wet cloth is kind of working as their t uh, tongue and the brush kind of like the little spines on their tongue just to brush it through the fur and make sure it stays. So yeah, if your cat is older or a little bit overweight, you might need to help with their cleaning and coat care a little bit more than you would a younger, uh, thinner cat. But your cat's diet as well can have an effect on their... Ow! Ew! <laughs> um, on their coat. So if your cat's coat isn't as shiny as it used to be, I'd definitely say go to the vets because the coat can be a telltale sign of any kinds of problems that might be going on with your cat. Yeah, so pay attention to your cat's coat and I think I'm going to show you how I kind of brush Maya and see what you think. So I'm going to walk you through Maya's grooming experience. It's a little bit like a spa treatment because she's so spoiled. So spoiled. I have two different brushes with different bristles, so I start with this one because it's good for getting rid of any knots and it's not pulling on her fur. And as you can see, Maya really actually quite enjoys being brushed. And then move on to this one, so it's, it's kind of like if you've ever sanded anything down, you have like the grits, that's kind of how I see it, it's a bit weird, but um, yeah, then I move on to this one, it's just again an area kind of surface one, it removes and picks up a lot of the hair, so I don't just have short hair hair everywhere, which would be my daily life to be honest. And then the next one that I move on to is this one which I've talked about a lot. Um, it's just a fine tooth comb, it helps get rid of any kinds of fleas, um, just helps get right to her skin and increase the flow of oils, natural oils. Brushing helps stimulate the skin so more natural oils can come through. That's why Maya's coat is so shiny because I do a weekly brush routine with her. So all those oils are coating in the entire shafts of the hairs. Just start near the head, um, pay attention to the areas near the ears, definitely the big fluffy areas um, because those are where most of the dirt can get. So this one picks up all those hairs that, that just kind of let loose that you can see kind of floating around now. Um, I think this one is probably Maya's favourite, even though it doesn't look like it right now because she's just, she's like, stop handling me, I want to go play. <laughs> And then finally, the last one, the thin one, I only use like around the ears and areas like that where there can be fleas. And as you can see there, just by like a few brushes, um, quite a lot of fur was picked up. So it does help. It helps as well with shedding. So if your cat sheds a lot, if you get it all in one go, it's just so much easier. And it stops if your cat has a lot of hairballs too. It reduces that. I have to bribe her today. Bribery. Ah. Don't lick the brush, you loser. I was literally just saying how it stops hairballs if your cat isn't an idiot and licks the brush. <laughs> Quick, simple video for you this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know about your cat and if they like being brushed or not. Maya usually loves it. She's just, it's very hot under these lights, I think, and she's just not happy about it. Okay, so as usual we have a t-shirt winner to announce, which is, again, my favourite part. So, I'm just going to have a quick look through now and see who we have this week. <clears throat> so, our winner this week is Wolf is my name to TDSM. Um, congratulations, <laughs> yay! And they say, you are very great at making Hazy sleep, thank you. And edit, my vice principal has a Christmas cactus that I like to take care of. Um, I like cactuses because 
I, I really, really, really suck at keeping plants alive, so um, and thank you everyone who comments and again let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from us, um, it's always nice to hear from you so thanks again. Um, Wolf is my name, be sure to head over to our Instagram and send us your address and your size just so we can get our shirts sent out to you. And anybody else, if you're still interested in winning one of our t-shirts, um, all you have to do is um, be subscribed to Relax My Cat, hit the notification bell beside it just so that you know when we post a new video. Um, especially with times changing, my videos are now going up on Sundays instead of Mondays. And then post a comment within 60 minutes of this video going up. And that's it, that's how you enter. And hopefully next week it might be you, so yeah. Thank you again so much for watching, um, and I'll see you next week. Thank you, bye bye.